This what is conference will about? now be recorded. Uh, yeah. If you go to uh, MD04, please. MD04, okay. And this is the one Mazda, yes. Okay. Okay. And uh, from the first plan order, if you mm -hmm. click it on the si left side. Okay. And then production order. Okay. Uh, Enter. Enter. Okay. Locked. Locked means somewhere you open the same thing. Okay. Okay. Now so I think we... another screen. I am coming out from one screen. Yeah. We are there in another screen. I, we were working actually, then we did not. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you please everything, yes. Good. Okay. What's the... Okay production version required so you are not created production version for your material we create from the production version. yeah but this is red it is red it's not the green yeah maybe maybe we use some material uh, something um, from your production uh, okay. not compatible 100 percent maybe with our yeah. product correct we'll it happens sometimes if you copy something yeah production version yeah. okay yeah yeah you enter these details okay fine go to the details now you did red. not check actually yeah you can you check it but it could give red yeah you need to click and check mm -hmm. so you can see does not exist exist okay no problem does not exist means actually you created on uh, today 18th but mm -hmm. start date you put on 16th so that is the reason it is saying does not exist okay you can oh. change the date you change this date start date you put today's 18. date 18. 18 and again check it so now wow. task list exists BYM exists actually we yeah. create the the version uh, I mean, yeah. uh, material about two days ago okay Okay. Uh, yeah. okay now if you go back we will see yeah. the, the error no, comes be green wow great yes <laughs> okay. yeah 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 so click on continue and continue and then save, save. it right. wow i want to say okay save okay perfect now we will go into md04 now yeah okay md04 planned order okay so in this case what we can do it is says, uh, something a sign comes again i think no 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 uh, actually these planned orders are created before we create a production version okay oh. we created just now the production version to, uh, we have uh, to delete it yeah we need to delete these planned orders and recreate okay yeah. how you can do is you can run mrp once again hey yeah okay md01 n yeah okay here you can see planning mode you can change the planning mode you can see delete, delete and recreate so in this yeah. case system will delete the old planned orders and create a new planned orders yeah 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 select it and you can execute oh great man so now this is example for this mode planning mode delete and recreate great wow yeah
material scope, you know, uh, it is A, A, all time A. Is that right? Yeah, yes, A. MRP related. Yeah. So three materials are planned. You can go to the MG04. Yeah, this one, MG04. yeah. Yeah. From here oh. also, you can go actually. No problem. This is MD04. Okay. New planter has come. Now you can convert. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. okay. You can say, thank you. you can proceed. So, yeah. when you practice, all these issues will come. So, you will uh, learn more learn. actually. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, agree with you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot, okay. uh, Vasco. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. So I have not saved the production order. Okay. You no, can no. convert yeah. and you can proceed. Now this uh, yeah, radio. All of them are, are, are light, are red, radio. right? Yes. The, ra because, the radio. Yeah. The radio yeah, button will lights. I will, uh, I will tell you. Don't worry. Now I'm opening MD04. Okay. Yeah. MD04. So here you can see individual access, corrective access. Yeah. Okay. Individual access and corrective access. So yeah. this is individual always it is there. So you are entering one material and plant. If you select the corrective access. Okay. Here you can select corrective means multiple materials. Okay. And plant mrp controller wise or vendor production line wise all these are the selection criteria you need to select example like our mrp controller is 001 and execute press center so it will show you multiple materials here okay out of these materials you want to see this material md04 means all the requirements and everything you can select and click on this selected material list so it will show you like earlier okay so mm -hmm. now this is how to navigate into this multiple materials now your question is why this light is there okay right. this light you can see light red or green mm -hmm. these are called traffic lights mm -hmm. okay you can do the some settings to execute these traffic lights okay for example here you will have the data okay like you uh, stock days supply okay stock days supply days supply days supply means this is a one of the parameter mrp people will measure it okay what is a days supply means days supply means with existing stock how many days i can survive zero i can survive means for example you have a stock of 100 pieces okay you have a stock for example your tire is there i have 100 pieces so every day you need 50 50 pieces you need every day 50 50 pieces so assume that today is 18th tomorrow is 19th and 20th okay so yeah. with the existing stock how many days you can survive only two days two. you can survive because you yeah. need 50 50 every day so that mm -hmm. is called the days supply that number yeah. is called the day supply so in this case example day supplies two days okay so system will show you how many days here yeah okay if you don't have sufficient stock then always it is just like it will show you minus 999 mm -hmm. you don't have the stock okay i'm checking where is the stock field okay yeah this sometimes, is a stock. sometime sometime yeah, it's 
uh, minus uh, 55 minus 14 minus 3.5 yeah, so here hmm. is the stock okay stock so hmm. these two cases zero is there you don't have a sufficient stock okay so wherever this minus are coming so hmm. those minus for them it will sure. show you the traffic lights red okay now if you come to the another example like tire okay why it is showing minus still you have the stock okay okay now i am going to the, this material because maybe you put 5000 no yeah no no okay. no. Yeah. no you can see what is today's date 18th 18th okay 18th. By 18th, before 18th, you have some order reservations. Like you have a 1700 is your stock, mm -hmm. but in 15th, you have you need for this car order 550, so minus 550, 17 minus 550, 1150. Again, this order 750, so minus 750, it is 400 again 500 so minus has come okay and again today some order is there 350 minus so even though you have the stock but you have an orders of old orders past orders you have because of that it's a stock is showing you minus okay so be, because of this system is showing you the minus actual day supply okay and again you have a purchase request purchase request means expecting stock from vendor that is it will show you 500 okay so then 500 this minus 350 becomes as 150 but that is in future not now okay so existing stock expired by 15th which is minus three days okay oh okay. it is completed means it is it should consume by 15th the consume means it will become zero by 15th that 15th is three days past so that is the reason it is showing you the past means minus three days you can see okay okay so okay. why these traffic lights means planners you have hundred materials okay so each one material and go on checking in md04 is very difficult as a planner so in real time planners will come into this screen and check which are having the red lights and only analyze these red lights only okay because green means it is okay fine some stock is there and requirements is not okay but if it comes to the red means something is there yeah okay so they will analyze only red that is the meaning of this red lights and this transaction code so after we finish the our material and everything then the green lights here come can we delete after this or here we can leave it here? no automatically automatically it will become green if you have sufficient stock no no i'm talking about uh, from this 1621 when you work on this this will go green can we delete this or uh, we leave it no, here no, because... we won't delete we will leave it like this this is a kind of report for analysis we are not deleting any records okay. it's a report only system will generate okay. Okay. Yeah. So. is it clear this transaction code yeah yeah okay so now uh, yesterday we discussed on the capacity planning any questions on that I hope you are clear on it. 
capacity planning correct yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. And the leveling, we work on the leveling too. Okay. Capacity leveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday we discussed the capacity leveling and capacity leveling also. Okay. Yeah. So leveling means it is nothing but a sequencing of orders. Okay. Yeah. Now, so very important thing is mass processing. Okay. What is mass processing? Mass processing means okay, you have tomorrow you need to release 100 orders. Okay, so is it possible for you to release one by one? Means go to CO02, open the transaction code, and release means you need to click on that flag and save it. So, how much time it will take? to make this 100 orders if we take one minute or uh, two minutes per order mm -hmm. that means it will take for you 200 minutes yeah 200 minutes means nothing but a three and a half hours okay right. half day you need to spend mm -hmm. so is there any easy way that I can release all the orders at a time okay, okay. that is called mass processing okay to do this mass processing of not only release you can do some other activities also in this mass processing like availability check okay mm -hmm. capacity leveling okay those things i will show you now what mass means at a time you can select the multiple orders and you can do that activity that function okay in mass processing what are the activities we can do you can see, we will see oh, oh, what what are the activities can you say uh, tell me what, yeah, what yeah. we will we will we will see that now so uh -huh. for this mass processing the transaction code is cohv for mass okay. C O H V. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I will open the transaction code. Okay. Before this, actually the cycle from starting to ending is completed. Mm -hmm. Cycle means from creation of forecast to goods receipt is completed. Okay. So we are discussing now the subtopics like availability check and capacity planning. Okay and another subtopic is like mass processing okay mm -hmm. so now i will go to the cohv or if you want uh, uh, navigation path production mm -hmm. of floor so. What happened? I'm trying to see my um, Snagit software and I did not find. Just give me one second and uh, you can type that in the menu. Yeah, yeah, just one second. Just one second. So path for this one is production, shop floor control and control. Then you can see mass processing. Okay, now, okay, just give me one second. And let me go here. All right. Okay. Mass processing. So open this transaction code. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can I go? Yeah. Okay. So once you open this transaction code, first you can select the list. List is order headers. We have so many here. We'll discuss. First you can select order headers. Okay. Then in mass processing, what are the things you can do is in the bottom you can see two tabs. One is selection, second is mass processing. Go to the mass processing. Okay. And here functions. You can see. So in mass processing, you can do all these things. Yeah. Example confirmation. So that means you can select multiple orders and you can do confirmation CO15 at a time. Automatically, it will get confirmed. Okay. Yes, material availability check. You can select the multiple orders and you can do them all orders available to check. You want to take the print of papers printing. Yeah. You can select the multiple orders. You can give the print command. Yeah. It will get printed. Okay. Release. You can do the multiple release. So you in uh, mass uh, processing uh, means uh, you can do a lot of uh, functions at the same time. Correct. These are the functions. Okay. Now you say order header is this is the production order, right? Yeah, correct. Production order. Okay. Okay. I will take one example now here. Mm -hmm. And okay, first I will show you how it looks like release okay so you want to release multiple orders okay do we have any orders okay i don't know okay so you you select which function you want to do first is example release then select then click on selection tab here you can give per which orders or which materials you want to release okay which production orders you want to release you can select here means like example i want to see all the orders for honda car you can enter that material and enter the plant okay mm -hmm. or you want to see all orders in this plant then remove the material only give the plant and you can use the mrp controller okay yeah. so now you can click on execute so system will show you all the orders which are there in in this plant Okay. In this plant means uh, the car, tire, and everything. Tire. Yeah, production orders only. Tire is not a production order. I okay. see. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like your Mazda, if you create a production order, it will show you. Uh, only production orders, it will show. How you? How we can put the? We we can put only one material and the plant because the Mazda is uh, related with the same plant, right? That's why. Yeah, plant only, but Mazda don't have any production orders. Yes. Okay, so that is the reason it is not showing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now here, these are the orders. It is displayed and you can see the status. REL means this is already released. Please, please. Okay, only CRTD is there. Only one order is there. Created. Okay, created. So you mm -hmm. can release this only one order. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is one thing. Now, you want you don't want to see released orders also. You don't want to see released orders. Okay, mm -hmm. you want to see only this order. So then, what you can do is go back mm -hmm. in the selection screen. You can see in the bottom system status. 
V R E L means it is nothing but a status. Okay, you select that status from F4 list. You select that status mm -hmm. and click on exclude. Mm -hmm. Exclude. So I don't want released orders. I want only created orders. Okay. So you exclude. You can select exclude. So it won't show released orders. Then execute. Okay. Now you can see it is showing only one order. Okay. Now how to release this order is mm -hmm. select this order mm -hmm. and click on this button. Mass processing. This button is there. Just one second. This is very important because everyday people will use this mass transaction. Yeah. Okay. Can I click? Yes. Please. Yeah. Okay. So you click on this button. So system will open the function release and everything. Click on execute button. Thank you. Just one second. I put yeah. this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. See. Click on execute yeah. button. Now, okay. In the bottom, it will show you. You can see mass processing executed. One log. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in the same screen, presently status is CRTD. Whether it is released or not, you want to see. Go to the list and click on refresh. So it's gone. Means it is released. The order got released. Yeah. Okay. So like this, if you have multiple orders, you can do the multiple orders activity. Same. You can select the multiple orders and click this button. It will release all the orders. You can try. Okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Now I will show you another yes. example. Okay. Now for your Mazda, you have created a planned orders, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. You want to yes. convert them. You want to convert all your planned orders into production orders. Yes. Okay. So here you can see the radio buttons automatically production orders selected so it is showing you only production orders now mm -hmm. conversion of planned order to production orders belongs to planned orders mm -hmm. so then you select this planned order checkbox and mm -hmm. remove this production order okay remove the production order only select the planned order okay now uh, just one second, just one second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now click on mass processing and select the function like convert to planned order. Okay. okay. Select it and click on selection. You can select a plant and you want to enter only specific to Mazda, you can enter Mazda also. Okay. Or if you not enter any Mazda, it will show all planned orders. I see. Okay. And then click on execute button. Okay. Now you can see all your planned orders, five planned orders it is there. I'm yeah. opening MD04 mm -hmm. to check. Okay. You have how many five planned orders are there all are planned orders only you don't have any production orders. Okay. Now I am going to the mass processing transaction once again. So out of these five you want to convert all five you can convert you want to convert only the orders which are in this month only. In this month only means these two orders only you want to convert. 
you can select okay just one second Okay. Okay. Now select these orders and click this execute button. Mass processing mm -hmm. and execute. Okay. So now it is done actually. You can see mass processing executed. Okay. Now if you go to the MD04, you can see that MD04. Okay. I'm just refreshing MD04. Now you can see this is one production order and this is one production. Okay. Two planned orders are converted into production orders. And remaining three planned orders are like this. Before it was uh, PLD, right? Yeah. PLD. So now it's now PRD. PRD, correct. Uh -huh. Okay, this is how we can do mass processing. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, can I ask a question? Maybe you convert both yeah. of them in the April months. I see yeah. the second one was converted in uh, in, in June. Yeah. Is that right? Not converted. Yeah, that is right. Why it went to the June is we will see. Okay. So, okay, okay. for example, you can see, you can open this one, production yeah. order in display mode. Yeah. It should be, start should be in the April only. Okay, started. Okay. Yeah. But ending is in the month of June. Why oh, okay, it is going to is, means yeah. to manufacture one item, you require certain time go to the here operations yeah okay so here you can see each operation what is the start and end time how much time it is taking Oof. yeah you can see end dates mm -hmm. got it, got so it, it is taking that much time for each operation mm -hmm. reason uh -huh. is in the routing you maintain that much date and time mm -hmm. okay. okay you can see it is starting on 23rd process processing 100 hours so it is ending on 53 yeah. yeah and again after 53 second operation is starting mm -hmm. for 200 hours 23rd 523 yeah okay, okay. why yeah. 200 example 200 hours means per day One maybe month. you are yes yeah yes. Per day you are uh, using maybe 14 hours. Okay. Yeah, definitely it's it's effects at a different day time. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. So system, even though earlier planned order is in the April, but when you convert this planned order to production order, system actually calculates how much time as per your routing mm -hmm. it is taking, it will calculate. Mm -hmm. Okay. In yeah. our work center, per day we put the 14 hours. Yeah, okay. it will, the routing will uh, calculate from the work center and uh, relationship with the hours and uh, the end time yeah. they calculate and then uh, that will be effect on your MRP. Correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this example, you can take straight away this example, 200 hours, 14 mm -hmm. hours per day you are working. So 200 mm -hmm. hours means how many hours it will take? So how many days? 200 like hours a, to process. Like a five, yeah, uh, five yeah, weeks. Almost 15 days. Yes. Okay, 15 days. 15 days from here means third it is starting. Third of May it is starting. Third. Yeah. Fourth and fifth is holidays. Okay. So that means one day here, six days, and then here. It is almost coming to 23rd, 15 days. Yeah. 
yeah okay so that is the reason it is showing the 5th 23rd okay this is this calculation you must understand if you understand means you are good okay. how this is coming okay yes now i hope you are clear how it is coming okay routing and work center from there it is coming okay right okay good that's a, a the production order is mostly relationship with the work center routing yeah. they calculate and that will affects on your mrp uh, running not mrp mrp is starting actually yeah during mrp also it will calculate but mm -hmm. not like detail like production order mm -hmm. in the production order it will calculate in detail and production order yeah, yeah. okay okay so is it clear this mass processing yeah any questions yeah approach it yeah, yeah. thanks yeah. Yeah. so not only these activities you can do multiple activities for example planned order you can open this one not only conversion you can do uh, delete also you created some planned orders you want to delete them you can select this enter in the selection you can select the material and you can select and delete okay so like this multiple actions you can Okay. And when you select this material, plan order material, even deletion or anything, then you go for uh, execute, right? Yeah, same thing. For okay. example, I selected delete material and plant execute. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to delete this planned order. Select this planned order, same execute. Mm -hmm. Execute. So this planned order will get deleted. 5872. Mm -hmm. If you go and check in md04 it won't be there 5872 presently 5872 is there okay and just click on refresh it is not there now okay so like this in this transaction what are the functions are there those you can do as a mass processing okay clear yes clear okay so now this is about the mass processing okay mass processing you can do for planned orders and production orders also okay now with this almost the sub topics and main topic is completed okay now in any business if any process is completed then finally what you will see at the end of the day you need to see the reports correct mm -hmm. you want to see the reports mm -hmm. okay so in pp also we have the report standard reports okay so in this mainly only one is the report from there you can get all the information i see related to production mm -hmm. okay. so that is transaction code for this one is c o o i s c o o i s this is also called cois transaction mm -hmm. code is who is somebody will call but the transaction code is COIS yeah okay mm -hmm. now COHV and COIS are looks like same only COHV will have the additional button mass processing mm -hmm. but COIS won't have that button okay Sorry, what what you mean yeah i will show you that yeah yeah thank you yeah now i am i am going to the cohv mass processing transaction you can see 
COHV have in the two buttons here, two tabs. One is selection. Yeah, two tabs. And another one is mass processing. Mass These yeah. two are there. Okay. Yeah. But in COIS, COIS, yeah, only yeah. selection button will be there. You don't have mass processing because this is a report. Mass mm. processing is a activity. Okay. Mass so now. Now you want to see some kind of report. What kind of report you want to see? Nicholas, can you tell me what information you want to see in orders? Example. Yeah, for example, uh, uh, the entire planet order, for example, or the entire, uh, the entire, uh, the entire production order I have. You want to see entire production orders, okay? Here, yes, in one, in one, in one site, in one plan. Yeah, okay. So here you can enter the plan number, okay? And just execute. Yeah. Okay. All these are yeah. the, your production orders. For can, all you, can you can you go go back one more time, please? Or maybe can I see in the same that there is a possibility to see the entire sale, all the sales order, for example. Uh, this all is the, related to only production orders only. Production okay, only. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, it, but we can make uh, uh, like uh, make to uh, order. But since we are doing make to order, we can see how many sales orders, no? No, no. no. Okay, okay. We can okay. stay in the production. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Okay, can you execute now for the next screen, please? Yeah. Okay. Now, from here, this is the report I told you, but somebody want to see this data in an Excel file. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can export this data into Excel file you expand this button in the starting you have a mm -hmm. arrow button here triangle mm -hmm. you click on this button mm -hmm. and you will get the more buttons here then okay. you click on this export button okay mm -hmm. and Reaction. select a spreadsheet one second, one second. Now, uh, when you say click this this button here, this mm -hmm. will highlight this will highlight the the spreadsheet bring the no. whole order, yeah, yeah. right? When I yeah when I press this button, it will highlight this one. Mm -hmm. So then click on spreadsheet. No, what is that arrow indicate? The last no, the no. black black the arrow. arrow indicate means it is expanding this menu. Oh, okay. If you click okay. this one, it just expand this menu. That menu, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Then in that menu, you select this. Oh, no. Next one, next one. Yeah, this yeah. one. Yeah, export button. Yeah. And, and then one. select Spread. the spreadsheet. spreadsheet. Yeah. So here, you can select select the format. Okay. Select the format, yeah. Yeah. And click OK button. So and you can select the file name here and path. Okay, C O I S and save it. So it will ask you yellow, yellow. Now you can see the data has come in Excel file. All, all are in, uh, in sequence. Correct. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I think I have the possibility to see, for example, all the planet order for uh, day trainers, for example. Yes, yes. Certain week, yes. one week. Correct. 
yeah. yes exactly i will show you that yeah. example now yeah yeah so nicolas want to see only particular days you don't want to see you want to see only in the month of april what are the orders so you can yeah. come back in the selection mm -hmm. screen in the bottom mm -hmm. you will have the dates also dates also you can scroll down okay here you can see header level start date okay. oh great start date, date, date which is in the month of april you want to see mm -hmm. start date which is having in the month of april date range till month of mm -hmm. end the mm -hmm. orders which is having a start date from this range you want to see the orders so you mm -hmm. can select it and you can execute now you can see only orders which mm -hmm. are there oh sorry mm -hmm. yeah this one which are there in the april only it will show you yeah, just same yeah. thing you yeah. want to see the particular date only you can select the date only. Yeah. you don't have more many orders so i did not select for example you want to see which are going to start on 23rd you want to see select so it will show you only these two orders yeah okay now since we are uh, talking about this uh, from from the beginning mm. and uh, you start this uh, uh, make to a stock mm. right Mm. So now, after the make to stock, do we go to back to make to order, or you, uh, it's not necessary? No, I will. I will tell you the make to order also. Okay. I see. I see. So make to order only the difference is that sales order. That's all. Remaining whatever I am discussing now, all are common. What 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 is the difference you see? Sales order creation. Sales order creation. Yes. 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 Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. So if it is a make to order scenario also the covis this mass processing this report these are common it won't yeah. change as per the your make to stock or make to order okay yeah sales order that's uh, vd01 or uh, something like this. va01 va01 is this sales order is the responsibility for the pp or the sd people uh, carry it? The sd I'm people sorry. I SDP. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, uh, Nicholas, can you tell me another kind of report you want to see? Important thing. I, I can look at the production order during for one week, for example. I'm looking for my okay. production order for one week. And then I, I will look at my production order for one uh, planner, planner, planner order, for example. Does mean. Okay. Uh, Okay, planned order means you can select this one checkbox yeah, uh, production order. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what we what we saw in the beginning, uh, planet planner or planet or, or production orders. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay so we see the opposite now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the planned orders here and select and execute. That is fine. Okay. Now I will tell you one more thing. Now, last. Uh, four or five days we did the confirmations goods movements migo and everything so mm -hmm. generally as a production person i want to see what is my yesterday production mm -hmm. yesterday yeah. people somebody has confirmed goods movements and everything migo is done so i mm -hmm. want to see what is yesterday my production so how can i see that is a report actually end of the day i should know how much i produced correct yeah yeah, okay. you look then at you, the production order and you put the date yesterday date. Yeah, not yeah. that one. I will show you in a different way. Can you, you can see? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to see what is the other functions that we like. You put the material or plant, then you put bottom date wise. Can you go down? I want to see that what other options or what other, what other activities that we have that we yeah. can we can all the buttons you can see dates in the production order you will have a different dates you uh -huh. can see those dates actually 
and correct there. Let's correct the relative finish date. I see. Start okay. date, end date, release date. All these dates will be there in the production order. So by which date you want to select, you can select. You can enter the date details here. Yeah. Okay. 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 And then now you want to see what are the goods movements has happened for order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then uh -huh. here in the list, you can select the list. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, you want to see the goods movements. So you can see, you can select the option called, where is that option? Goods movement. Goods movement with error. Not with error. We don't, this one. Documented goods movements. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can select that option in the list mm -hmm. and enter the plan and execute. Mm -hmm. So, movements are not coming okay now maybe you would have all the good movement related to m m h d everything you know no, no, no. one config setting is missing so that is the reason it is not coming but otherwise it will come okay yeah. let me correct it spro i'm correcting it in the configuration otherwise it will come all the goods movements actually Production, shop floor control. So, operations, confirmation. Needs to take the goods one. Yeah, no, yeah, this one is dates quantities propose. Uh, this is propose. Where is goods one? This is error handling. Where is the top option. Is our order type is uh, correct? No, no, no. Just I'm checking the option actually. It's mm -hmm. not correct at all. I'm checking the where is that option. Check. Yeah, good movement is the down, down, just down. I saw it. You saw it? Maybe? Yeah, yeah down. All all component, uh, ZR for co product, no. down. No, is not this what you are looking for? No, yeah, that is not the correct option. Okay. No, for this. No. Where is the maybe order? yeah yeah okay so this is a so here in the order types actually this is the configuration setting define order type dependent parameters mm -hmm. go here and select our plant and order type this is our plant 3001 and pp01 is our order, order type mm -hmm. go to the details and in the implementation tab here you can see documentation of goods movements documentation means you need to tick mark this gr of production and planned unplanned issues if you tick mark this one so what are the movements you are doing for this order will display in that report if the stick marks are not there, it won't display your goods movements. Migo will happen, but in that report, it won't show you. Okay. Uh, can you go and work on it and we'll see it show it? Then I need the menu path for uh, from SPRO2. Okay. So I'm just saving it. Uh -huh. Okay. 
save so now I'm going back so this is the menu path production shop floor control master data order and order type dependent parameters okay so now, before that yeah nicholas uh, can we continue the class tomorrow or you uh, because why i'm asking is you want to practice yeah the complete cycle till now yes so you wanted two days break yes yes yeah that's i was yeah, yeah we can do that because yeah. you need to complete cycle is completed yes okay? yeah and uh, the processes reports also completed Yes, yeah. that's why I was trying to say that at least we need a day or two gap that we have yeah. to work on it and reach where you are right now that complete the cycle and during complete the cycle. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, error comes. So definitely we have to concern with you Correct. now. Correct. The other thing is we are a student. You are a teacher. I'm not comparing my knowledge with your knowledge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Correct. Correct. So, so can we take a break of two days? Yeah. Okay. Yes. We, we we start we start back Sunday Monday you your Monday morning does mean our Sunday night or when? Correct. Us to Correct. Back? Monday Monday we will start on Monday. Your Monday. Your does Monday evening. You, yeah, our Monday, right? That means does three mean days. We will have a three day break. Yeah, we have a lot of things, you know. You don't okay. uh, mm, uh, whatever uh, Nicholas decide what you can do. I, I I don't mind myself. I don't mind, uh, but you know, I feel like if we need three days, it's okay. Three days we can almost be around where yeah. we are now because we have the uh, order con conversion. Then we have the then we have the backflash, mm. and then we have the automatic uh, automatic conversion, yes. and then we have the the capacity. You know, yeah, this is four things which I do. Capacity yeah. level. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'm trying to say, is it possible we can start on a Monday, which is 22? Monday evening. Yeah. Correct. Uh, Your Monday yeah. evening. Monday evening, our yeah. Monday evening. Yes. OK. OK. That's fine. OK. One more thing is if you get any issues are stuck in any issues you can drop a mail mm. i will reply to that okay okay yeah i hope you will reply at least within a very short period of time that you can continue it yeah yeah <laughs> maybe you are very busy is that right Wasu? how many yeah. how many projects you are working on maybe uh, uh, maybe it's the weekend maybe you are at home or maybe you are in a village maybe you are in so how if we drop the mail and you you are busy someplace would not get the answer at the same time you know? yeah but generally i will check the mails okay yeah i will check the mails and i will reply don't worry but okay it, it okay. may not be the immediate because it is you your daytime and my night time or some timings here differences but i will reply yeah just okay. reply from your uh, experience Mobile. because uh, you cannot yeah. reply from the system and it's correct, sure correct. sure yeah, definitely just, yes Okay. okay, sir. Okay, so our next class is on your Monday evening. Monday okay? evening. Yeah. Okay. By yeah. that time, you should complete all this, and I will ask you the questions also. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I hope fine. you could. We will answer. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. we will answer. Okay. After okay. Definitely, when you do the cycle, then yeah. you will face a lot of uh, things, and then you can answer correct. it. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yes. yes. Okay. So I will send this okay. Excel also now. So uh -huh. you can see the refer the Excel file also. Okay? Yeah, excellent. Please, please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks okay. a lot, Tobas. And have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.